Well you guys, I didn't make an intro or an outro for this. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing the or fixing my roof rack. We're going to delete the roof rack and put some molding strips in place of it. Um, so let's get this started. As I was saying, we're going to do the roof rack tonight. We're on hold. Ran to a snag with the passenger rear strut. You guys will see that video later on. So we're going to start taking off these crossbars. The plastic is damaged. I'm not worried about them. We're going to drop the headliner and we're going to get all this going and out of the way and we're going to put new roof rack delete strips in all together right here. We've got ones that run the whole channel. So, I said bye. Let's start by taking this 12 out of here. And you guys can see that loosens up the rack. And then we'll be 12 millimeter head. Then we'll go to the other side, start on that side, and we can actually, while we're on this side, to start working on the um, rear. Let me set you guys up again. I don't ever claim to be professional at filming this stuff. I just do it so y'all can see what I'm doing. So. And I leave all this in because it's hilarious to watch for me. So these plastics are already broke. And normally I would say use caution because they're not... They're getting harder to find, but they're crap. They're scrap. Who cares? So you got a 12 millimeter bolt head right here. A little three eighths inch ratchet works perfect. You guys who are more fancy than me can probably do it with a impact. And we just take this one out like so. And there's four bolts, two, one, or one on each side for each cross number. So we've got our 12 millimeter bolt. There is a little washer on there, too, a little plastic washer. You guys can see the crossbar is loose. We'll go to the other side and start on that. Now we're on the driver's side rear. You guys can tell these caps already broke off. See, brittle. They're hard to find in good shape, and I was hoping they would. I wish they would have been. I might have kept these. There is another option other than removing this whole rack. They do make a like a plastic clip-on uh, delete kit. I have that as well, but I want it smooth. I don't like the way this looks. So, we'll just take it out. Once again, you have your 12 millimeter bolt head and your plastic washer. And now you can lift your whole crossbar off. Do that in the junk pile. Now we'll get you all swung over here on this side. And you, same process. Don't mind the battery. We still haven't finished up the electrical and stuff. We're waiting on a few sensors. So take this off. And I really have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of taking part things apart carefully and seeing what we end up with. So, you guys got, yet again, the other bolt. Now our crossbar can come off. And this thing is so brittle, the plastic is just falling apart around it. Oh well. It's metal scrap for somebody. So, And since this is already cracked and broke, we're just going to keep chinking it, off, chinsing it off. Oh. Right? It don't matter. It's all scrap plastic anyways. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. So you guys can see all this plastic is broke. I'm not too worried about it anymore. If it was in good shape, I would try saving it. But it's not, so we won't. I know there's a couple bolts underneath the headliner, so we're going to start we're crawling inside the vehicle. You guys can see how this is all busted up here. We're going to crawl inside. We're going to take the seat belts off and carefully pry the plastic up off of the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, and the backmost pillars so we can get 
the headliner carefully down. We don't want to damage the headliner. So let's get inside and see what we're working with. So the roof rack has these bolts that run along the vehicle. Or nuts, I mean. So, we're going to undo all those and then we'll have a bunch of little holes to fill. See them all the way down, all the way to the back. Headliner's down, interior's gutted. So here we go. You guys can see the rails are gone. We cleaned up in here along the holes. And here, we're wiping all this down. And then we're going to use JB Weld and fill all these holes. Okay? So let me mix up some JB Weld and we'll go from there. So you guys can see how there's a hole here. With JB Weld on it. All I'm doing is taking it and slowly filling in the hole, building it up, because you can't just like patch it full. You gotta build it slowly, or else it just falls in. And they might see it here because I just globbed a bunch on there. And I'm not worried about it being smooth yet, because a lot of this will get covered up. But it'll sink a little. And it'll harden, and then we'll go over it with the second coat. You guys can see it's kind of creating a divot. That's fine. I mean, it's going to get on the headliner, but I don't plan to take the headliner back out. So what we'll do is fill this in carefully. And you guys play with it a little bit. I mean, if you guys have a welder, it would be easier just to take the headliner out, leave it out, and weld it up. Sorry guys, I'm not even holding on the spot. See how you got the divot? You guys got a couple down here that are already done. See how they got small, but they're sealed. That's the key. Because we can work around the divot. This one's kind of fighting me, but it's a bigger hole. Um, the goal will be to let this harden up, and then we'll put a final coat of JB Weld over it to smooth it out, and then we'll go to the other side. Initial holes filled. It's not pretty, but it'll be covered up and they'll be watertight. So we're gonna take, let this sit for about an hour while I get the kids to bed, and then we're gonna go and start a second coat over this, and then we'll start on the other side. All right, so let's see if we get some light on this. You guys can see how this is indented here because of the hole, but it's filled now and it's solid. That's what we wanted. Same here. And then we go up here. A little bit bigger hole than I planned, but we'll go to this one back here. Now that we got those filled, it doesn't look like much. As you can see. Like that. Now the game plan is to get a piece on the cardboard and put it in here. And then we're gonna do a skim coat over the top of it and smooth it all out. We don't want it thick, we just want to keep it thin, enough to flatten it. That way our rail will drop in here, and we'll come in here and clean some of this up. We'll just thin coat, just over these little spots. That's my game plan. I don't know how others have done it, I have yet to see a video on this. So. Let me mix up some JB Weld and we'll get, get to it. Not exactly perfect. I mean, it's smooth. No more divots. It's a little high on the uh, inside. But we are covered all the way to the back one. We're going to let this sit for 24 hours. I'm going to start working on prepping and cleaning the other side. And we're going to go from there. Then this should solve the little leakage on the roof, and it should clean it up some too. Passenger side, I'm changing, it's done. Let this cure up. You guys don't see any pinholes, see? 
Now, like I said, people said have put bolts in here, and I actually found someone online who's done that. So I'll show you guys. This one's not as smooth, but it's filled. So that'll harden, and then we can glue our rail our rail covers on. I'll stick them on. Coming along. So you got the raised portions like this. One. Two. Right here. Three. Four. There's four of them on the first side. Well, five if you count this front one being up here. See that? So there's five per side. You're going to take some rubbing alcohol. You're going to clean each one of these patches. And then you're going to put some double sided sticky tape down. And then place the clips in. And the clips only go one way they go flat side, outside. You got these little lips right here. I don't know if you guys can see a little curl up right here towards the inner side of the the roof line. You guys can see we have all the double sided tape down. Make sure it's pressed firmly, nice and secure onto the roof. You don't want this coming undone. It's pretty good stuff. It's 3M. I'll show you guys. And then this one's already stuck. Um, it's 3M body molding tape. So now we're going to go back to We're going to pluck all the red plastic off the tape on each one of these. And we're going to stick some plastic hooks to it. So, so you can see we have the clips on. I don't know why I can't get my hands on it when I'm looking at the camera. You just want to push them down to make sure they're all secure. And they're pretty solid. So we're going to get the driver's side plate or strip molding and lay it in. And I just hope this one that's already here from the factory is in the right spot. I don't know if there's a difference between the roof, ra the roof rack setup or not. Uh, with how they clip. That one clips on. So... Let me grab that top. All right, you guys, so I ran into a little snag. This backside wasn't sitting how I wanted it. So we ended up putting an extra clip down here. And there you guys go. Nice and smooth. It pops up a little bit here and I don't know why that is, but I think we're okay because it doesn't move. So. Get to the other side. Well, I couldn't show you on the other side because I already had the molding on, but this is where I added that rear clip. It seems to hold it tighter to the body. As you can see, we've got all of our clips in place. And I know there isn't a clip up front, but there's a little nubby right there that holds it all together. So, we'll set this in place. And I'll probably have to put the camera down, but we'll set it in place. Oops, sorry, showing you guys the stuff on the roof. We'll clip it in here like so, and we'll be done with the roof rack. Delete. And there it is installed. I gotta clean the roof up a little bit, but damn, does that look ten times better? So, we'll get a better picture of it out when the sun comes up. Well, you guys saw how I did it. I'll show you guys a still shot of before and after. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Y'all have a good one.